and oh boy, best hand ever. Hey everybody and welcome back to Nightbringers Watch, I'm your host Fike, and tonight we can finally start our adventure in the Neon Dynasty, we're back at Kamigawa after 1500 years, well, you know, at least in the story, in magic, not in the real world, that would be hilarious, um, but it's still 20 years since the first release of Kamigawa. Uh, I think the first edition was named Champions of Kamigawa. Um, and we will start the Kamigawa dynasty with uh, Sealed. And you know how it works, I'll crack the packs. Um, you see the rest, the six we get at the start. Then I'll build the deck and we uh, talk again in the deck deck. So, see you soon. I forgot we had to cr uh, crack open the packs, so here we go! Ooh, we got the Kodama and Eater of Virtue. To be honest, I didn't. Um, I made the, the, the Draft Stars video, but there I. I uh, talked about all the the lower rarity stuff and i read the the um higher rarity stuff but i almost forgot the most things that is the new mirror thing uh, where the legend rule doesn't apply i know these lands are all broken and Boy, I really like the, the modified uh, keyword now. And that uh, those modifications, that that's uh, a really big theme in Kamigawa. And I think Light Pours had also been pretty good. If you cast it, you may search your library for an aura card with manually less than or equal to that aura with a different name. Oh, yeah, that's, that should be awesome for, for a sealed. So, as I uh, said earlier, I will um, build the deck and I see you in, in the deck tag. And here we are again. And as you can see, we have a green and white deck with the modified uh, mechanic. Um, I put in the Kodama of the West tree because every modified creature we control against Trample. And uh, we can search a basic land card if we uh, happen to damage the opponent with a modified creature. I think this is pretty strong and I guess that could be as early as turn 3, if we can get our generous visitor uh, who puts a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature whenever we cast an enchantment. And like the Bamboo Groove Archer or the Go Shintai of Boundless Vigor, both are enchantments. And also I think the Spirit Companion and the Aigenjo, Aigon, Aigonjo Exemplar um, there are many uh, enchantment creatures or enchantments in general um, that are put into the deck. Close to everything. The, the saga, the samurai. Um, yeah, all are enchantments. Uh, I also put the Eater of Virtue in uh, because many of our creatures have one of those keywords. Uh, that we can um, exile with the Eater of Virtue if they happen to die. Um, also, light the way for more putting counters on target creature, or uh, we can return uh, a creature we can or a permanent we control to our hand. So we may be able to save something with that. 
Um, but yeah, it's um, mainly focused on the modified uh, type and uh, enchantments. And uh, for removal, I have the Wanderer's uh, Intervention 1 a time. I have uh, Ninja's Kunai because artifact, uh, artifacts, no equipments count towards the modification. And where is it? Touch the Spirit Realm two times. Also, I put in the Colossal Sky Turtle because I really want to play it. It's, I think, one of my favorite cards for the um, for sealed and draft and uh, a flying turtle. Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, that's the deck in general. So let's try uh, the deck in the games and see how far we can get. Ah, and if you happen to ask yourself why didn't he put in light pores? That's because I did not have that many auras in um, green and white, which could target light pores. I have favor of Junkai, uh, Jukai, and that's like the only aura I think that um, could legally target light pores. Um, we have some in blue and many in red. And only uh, the Harmonious Emergence, which only can uh, enchant lands we control. So, uh, Light Pause would not be a legal target, so I uh, yeah, did not put in Light Pause into the deck. Though I really, really would have fun playing Light Pause. Maybe another time. Okay, but, but for now... We jump into the games. Here we are, round one. Um, we have many green cards. The Bearer of Memory, two times, and a Fang of Shigeki. Also, Wanderer's Intervention and two forests, but I don't think I will keep this. Or, you know what? I'll be greedy. There's a swamp, and we got a ghost entire of boundless vigor. So let's play the forest and the Fang of Shigeki. Upon plays an island and an armguard familiar. Has a world 2, and a good creature gets plus 2, plus 1, and has a world 2. And reconfigure for 4. We drew a touch the spirit realm, which is not that good because we don't have any um, planes. So let's play the forest and the Gosintai of Bondless Vigor. And then we get in with the Fang of Shigaki. Takes one, drops to 19. I really hope that we draw a land next turn. The lands look awesome. Plays the swamp, gets in for two, we won't block. And has a Moonsnare Specialist. Minjutsu then. Ah, okay. Uh, Sunblade Samurai. Let's play the Sunblade or channel the Sunblade Samurai. Um, to search for a planes. Which we then will play. And then we stay back with the Fang of Shigeki. Replace the Armguard Familiar and Okiba Reckon Raid. Drains for one and plays an island. Okay, we drew a forest. Mm, let's play the forest. I think I want to play the gold Shintai of Boundless Vigor once more and start pumping it at the end of turn. No attacks. We end the turn. We pay the one. Drains us once more. If we find another land, we can play Tales of Seshiro, uh, of Master Seshiro. 
next turn. Opponent has another swamp. And shifts the turn. We found a plains. That's perfect. We play the Tales of Master Seshiro. And then I think I want to... Put one counter on the Gosintai. Let's not attack. Can't pay the one um, mana for the activation. High speed hover bike. Taps one creature, taps down the Fang of Shigaki. The Arkiba Reckoner Raid transforms to the Nizumi Raid Captain. Boost the bike. Plays an island. Reconfigures onto the high speed hover bike. Okay. And gets in for four. Okay, we put another counter on the gold Sintai. And then I think we should start to get rid of the opponent's board. First we want to try to touch the spirit realm, get rid of the high speed hover bike. It's gone. And then I think I want to attack. Because then we can play the Wanderer's Intervention if the opponent blocks. Oh, does not block. Okay. Then we'll end the turn. And we decline. So we have enough mana for the Wanderer's Intervention. Have this from the Steel Colossus. Menace Trample Haste Crew 2. Okay, that's hard. Get screwed uh, through Moonsnare Specialist. And gets in with the Thunder Sea Colossus. I think I'll won't block this time. Because first I want to get rid of the Nizumi Road Captain. And with that we may be able to block of the Thunder Sea Colossus with the Fang of Shigeki. Okay, we draw an island. And the Tales of Master Seshiro uh, flips. So we will play the island and then we pay one for the Ninja's Kunai. We will equip the Gold Sintai. Then we will <laughs> de-equip the, the kunai and sacrifice it to get rid of the Nizumi Road Captain. After that I think I get in for... Well, let's, let's stay back. Oh, wait, it, it has Vigilance, so let's attack for 5. And then we end the turn. We will pay the one. So we can grow the Go Shintai. Upon draws. As a silver fairy master. Pumps ninjas and rogues. And activated abilities cost one le uh, ninjutsu abilities. Ah cost one less to activate. Okay, cruise once more the Thunderstee Colossus. Ah, wait, it has... Right, it has Trample. Reconfigures onto the Moonsnare Specialist. Well... Then... We have to... 
block with uh, Sashiro. Okay, yeah, we will block the Moonsnare Specialist with Sashiro. Or do we turn it around? Well, either way, both of our creatures will die. If we had two more uh, mana, we could have cast the Wanderer's Intervention. We drop to one. We draw another Fang of Shigeki, which we will play. And I think I'll play the Bearer of Memory. And then attack with the Goshintai. It's rather risky, but we still have the Wanderer's Intervention, and if the opponent does not reconfigure, we will decline. I think we are fine. Ukutai Ambusher. Lifelink. Okay, it does not attack, so we will play the planes. And the Bearer of Memory. And then we will once again attack with the Gorsin Tai. We will decline that. A containment construct. Opponent does not attack. We draw an Iganjo exemplar. Good, let's attack. Opponent blocks with everything. Yeah, the order is not relevant. We will use the Wondrous Intervention to get rid of the lifelink stuff. Opponent drops also to one and we will play the Iganjo Exemplar. Good game. That was the wrong one. And we're off to round two. And oh boy, best hand ever. Let's keep this. Turn one, generous visitor. Opponent plays planes, skips the turn. We play a planes and Feng of Shigaki. Gains the to uh, a counter, we attack, and with the next turn, all of our modified creatures um, gain trample. Kulogis Terrarium. So it's basic land, reveals it and puts it into hand. another planes, okay. And an Eater of Virtue. Boy, what, what a great start. Let's play the planes and the Kodama of the West Tree. And then we get in. And now we can start to ramp. The planes, Golden Tail Disciple. Okay. We found another Fang of Shigaki. Let's play the planes. The Fang of Shigaki. Then we will put a plus one plus one counter on this Fang of Shigaki. We will play the Eater of Virtue. And we will equip the Eater of Virtue to the Kodama of the West Tree. And then we attack with everything. Whenever a modified creature you control this combat damage. So we ramp two times. And an island. <laughs> and this is really, really broken. <laughs> Opponent plays a swamp. And the banishing slash. Okay, we exile it. So Eater of Virtue gains also a uh, reach. Sadly our um it, it, our creatures lost trample, but hey, we have an Eater of Fangs, which enters with an additional plus one plus one counter. And let's equip the Eater onto 
this Fang of Shigeki. And let's get in with those two. Now we also gain a got death touch on the Icha of Virtue. Um, let's play Aiganjo Exemplar. And equip the Icha to the heir of the Ancient Fang. Zumi Blade Blesser has also death touch. An Arrow of Enlightenment. Okay, we drew another forest. We will stay back with that. And let us attack only with the Fang of Shigeki. Blocks it, okay. Then we will end the turn. I want to get rid of the Death Toucher. Has another one, okay. And the Golden Tail Disciple. Tales of Master Seshiro. Oh. Hmm. Let's give it to the Aiganjo Exemplar and we will re equip the Eater of Virtue to the Aiganjo Exemplar. And we attack. Box again. With the Blade Blesser. And now the equipped creature also gets. Um, Vigilance. And we enter turn. Did it? Did vigilance. Ah, no, because it's not a keyword, right? Oh no. Gets in for five. We drew a Goshintai of Boundless Vigor. We will equip the Eater of Virtue onto the Shigeki. And we will end the turn and we will pay. Okay, opponent plays the planes and attacks. I think we will block one of the Golden Tail Disciples. Drop to 11, phone goes back to 20. Has a Dragonfly suit. Okay. Our saga flips. We will equip the Eater of Virtue onto the saga. And we will attack. Or seven. Upon drops to thirteen. <coughs> There's another planes. Has no card in the hand left. Who's the dragonfly suit? Okay. Do you attack? Okay. We have reach. shifts the turn. Hey! The Colossal Turtle. First let's get in. Upon drops to six and we will play our flying turtle. And the land. And then we end the turn. There's a hotshot mechanic. Okay. We drew a planes. We will attack with both. Blocks with everything. That's seven. Oh, does not block with everything. We will nonetheless play uh, the favor of Jukai channeled. That's ten eight and six ten re air. And that's game two. What a start. Round three and I do.
do not think that we can keep this hand. Sadly, because we have again the Eater of Virtue in the hand. And we even have Ninja's Kunai. And Fate into Antiquity. And the Sky Turtle, but we only have two forests and this time I don't want to be greedy. Especially since we can't play any creature in the first uh, two to three turns. So we will mulligan and that's by far better. Let's keep this and we will put the Sunblade Samurai to the bottom. Opponent goes first. Lazy Plane shifts turn. We will play the Uncharted Heaven and choose green. Opponent plays a mountain. And the Era of Enlightenment. This flips into a 2 2 first strike. Ah, the Hand of Enlightenment. We drew another island. Oh, that's strange. Let's play a planes and a Bumble Groove Archer. So we have a strong creature to protect ourselves. There's another planes. And a Circuit Mender. Planes to life. We play an island and I think I want to stay back for now. Yeah, let's shift the turn. Saga from spawns. One plays of planes. And another era of enlightenment. Press 2 to the top. And the lion sash. Does not attack. Do we now play the Master's Rebuke? Or do we wait until the opponent um, uses a land or a mana to equip the Lion Sash? <laughs> we wait. Okay, we touched the Spirit Realm. That's pretty awesome. We will play the Forest and touch the Spirit Realm. On to the Hand of Enlightenment. Gains to life. Countless Flare. Free damage. Attacks for three. And has another arrow of enlightenment. That's strong. We drew a fate into antiquity. And I think now it's time to play the island and the heir of the ancient fang. And as soon as something happens next turn we will use the master's rebuke. One of the heirs, uh, arrows uh, flips. So the opponent gains a 2 2 first striker creature. Choose a threat with the Uncharted Heaven. Heaven? Haven. Does not attack. Okay. There is one card in every graveyard. Mm. Let's use the Master's Rebuke. We get rid of the Hand of Enlightenment. As a cure by Soul of Kamigawa. Oh. Legendary creature Spirit Dragon. We have nothing what we can do to get rid of that cure die for now. Okay. First let's do that, then we will not attack. The second arrow flips. Uh, 
and start to exile cards with the Lion Sash. He configures it onto the Kyolai and attacks with Kyolai. He dropped 13. And a Katsune Ace. First strike. Or. Oh, we drew Bert, uh, Ito of Virtue. Well, let's use the Ito of Virtue and equip it to the heir of the Ancient Fang. And I think <clears throat> this is an exile effect, so I wanna. Do I target uh, the. The Hand of Enlightenment or the Lion Sash? I think I go for the Lion Sash. That's by far more problematic. And if we attack, our creature will die. I'll wait till, uh, uh, till our saga flips. Gets in for another three. And with the thir circuit mender, we will block the circuit mender. Although that means that the uh, opponent may draw a card. As another mountain. Oh, we do a go Shintai. Let us attack with the Sashiro living legacy. We get in for 5, yeah, the opponent can take that. And we will start to grow the Go Shintai. A rabbit battery. Oh, cool. Equips the Kyodai with the rabbit battery to pump it once more. And gets in for 4. We need something with reach. We drew a forest. That's not something with reach, but I think I will re-equip the Ito of Virtue and attack once more with Sashiro. Yeah. Opponent got the trick. They they have a indestructible creature, so whatever. Okay, yeah, we will pay the one. I think next turn we will start to uh, equip the Ito of Virtue onto the Goshin Tai and attack with. Oh! I did not think that did this, this would happen. Um, we will block everyone. Okay. We drop to two, and the cloud steel Kirin. What does the Kirin say? A crit creature has flying, and you can't lose the game, and you up. Okay! <clears throat> and we found the touch of the spirit realm. But that's a bit too late. We will nonetheless play it. On to the Kyodai. Kyodai goes away. And then... Let us attack. We can't win either because of the flyer, which we can't deal with, so we can do the damage and then we will scoop it up. But it's our first loss. So, many games to go. And round 4, and no! We need green lands, we need forests, we need them. And no, why do you do this? Okay, we will keep this hand, we will uh, need our five cards and I think I'll stay with the gener generous Witherton and the Kodama of the West Tree. So let's put the tails and the favor to the bottom. 
opponent goes first. Cap 7. You lucky, lucky opponent. As a mountain, we drew another island. Why do we draw so many islands this, this game? We play the forest and the generous visitor and shift the turn. Opponent plays a swamp and a leech gauntlet, which has lifelink. Okay, this is only f with enchantments. Okay, so let's play an island, play the Eater of Virtue, and we equip the Eater of Virtue. Do we attack? Yeah, let's attack. Okay, opponent blocks. Does not block. Does not block. Figured out that if they have lifelink, they can get so many life back. There's a plains. Gets in for two. We drop to 18, opponent goes back to 19. And shifts the turn. Okay, we threw a fate into antiquity. That's good, but I think we play the planes and the Kodama of the West Tree. And if we are lucky and the opponent can't play anything. And the opponent can't play anything. No. We attack with the generous visitor. And does the twin shot sniper. Okay. Opponent plays a swamp. Twisted embrace on the leech gauntlet. And that's it with our Kodama. Um, we drew an Igonjo exemplar and I think I uh, want to fade into antiquity the leech gauntlet. There's a mountain and a shrine steward. To get a crackling emergence. Okay. Aura or shrine card. Oh, that's, that's cool. Let's play the Uncharted Haven for green. Then we will play the Iganjo Exemplar and the Ito of Virtue. Onto the Iganjo Exemplar. And then we will shift the turn. It's an era of enlightenment. I should look into the card pool once more to see if we did not open uh, era of enlightenment. Does not attack. Okay, then we will re-equip the Fang, uh, the Eater of Virtue onto the Fang of Shigaki. So if our creature dies, we will get Death Touch onto the Eater of Virtue. And then we are on block duty. There is a mountain and Naomi, Pillar of Order. We drew a Barrow of Memory. If we can find another land, that would be awesome. Okay, let's stay back. Arrow of Enlightenment flips. Plays another planes. And attacks with everything. Gains another samurai token. We will block the shrine steward with the Iganja exemplar and Naomi with the Fang of Shigeki. We drop 10. Our equipped creature against Death Touch and has, has Heiko Yamazaki. Heiko Yamazaki, the general. Whenever a samurai or warrior you control the text alone, you may cast target artifact cut from your graveyard. Ah, oh, there, there's the shrine steward and the twin shot sniper. Okay. We drew a uh, plates. That's great. 
Um, we will not equip the Eater of Virtue. I want to distribute 1-1 one -one counters onto this creature. Opponent attacks with everything. Okay. We will have to block Heiko Yamazaki and then we will put a 1-1 one -one counter on the Barrow of Memory so we won't die immediately. Kami of Terrible Secrets and we drew an island, uh, a plains and that's it. <sighs> Sad round. Round five with this modification deck. We do have the Kodama of the West Tree and the Eater of Virtue and some creatures we can play in the early game. So yeah, um, why not? Bond goes first. Um, we will play the Forest and the Eater of Virtue. One plays another island, we will play the planes, and I think then we will... Let's play the Spirited Companion. Maybe we draw a card... Uh, yeah, there's the planes. Perfect. Plays another island, we drew a forest, so we will play the forest. Let's equip the Eater onto the Spirited Companion. And then we get in. Do we want to play anything else? Yeah, let's play the Aiganjo Exemplar. Opponent doesn't play anything. We will play the planes. And I think we should get in for five. And since it's, it is blue, I only play the ninja's kunai. And equip it to the Aiganja exemplar. And then we end the turn. Upon plays a swamp. Lorin Torment. Minus one, minus one and can't block. Okay. That's it for the Aiganja Exemplar. And our turn. We drew an island. Let's play the island. And maybe we should play the Kodama. Okay. Then I want to get in with the Spirited Companion. So we can start to ramp. A bit more. And then we end the turn. Futurist Operative. It's tap, it's a human citizen. Ah, that's the unblocked, unblockable one. Okay. Our turn. Oh, we drew a generous visitor. Let's play that first. Then I want to equip the kunai to the kadana. And we play the touch the spirit realm. Get rid of the futurist operative. And then we will put the 1-1 one -one counter on the spirited companion. Let's get in for 7. We will ramp a bit more. Uh, we take another island. And then we end the turn. And your opponent scoops it up. Okay. And round six, I think it is. And again, the opponent goes first. But that's okay. 
I think this hat is okay. We can at best this turn to use, uh, try to scry. So we may scry for some answers here. We will play the Uncharted Haven or green. And then it's op the opponent's turn. Plays another forest. We drew a forest. That's okay. Let's play the planes and play the Arrow of Enlightenment. Now let's let's put the Colossal Sky Turtle to the bottom. Opponent plays Commune with Spirits to get a swamp. Place the swamp. Shifts the turn. We gain two life, and we will. Play the forest and the Feng of Shigeki. And then we will shift the turn. Bone plays another forest and a besager reaches Skyward. Gains two forests. Our turn. We draw a forest and our saga transforms. So let's play the forest. I'll attack for one. The point goes to 19 and then we play the bamboo groove a uh, grove archer. And end the turn. Plays another forest. And invoke the a ancients. Oh, that's strong. One gains trample, one gains vigilance. Then let us pass so we can do our turn. Okay, we drew another forest. Let's play the planes. Wait. I will do that first. And if the opponent attacks, I think I'll block with the either the Hand of Enlightenment or the Bamboo Proof Archer. Um, you know what? I get in for two. And it has first strike. Your opponent is tapped out, so if. Oh, they do not block. Okay, so opponent takes two, drops to 17. If the opponent would have blocked, I uh, would have uh, channeled the favor of Jukai. Now the opponent gains a uh, branch of Poseju. Uh, creature with reach that gains even stronger the more lands there are. Plays another forest. And Tatsunari, Todd Rider. And Historian. Historians with Wisdom. Draws a card. Okay. And gains the Todd token. Attacks with the spirit. Okay, we will block and then channel the favor of Jukai. We drew another forest and we will play the forest and the Sunblade Samurai as 4 4 Vigilance creature. And then um, no attacks. There's another swamp. Poseju grows even more. And the gold Shintai of Hidden Cruelty reigns alive. Plays the Leech Gauntlet. Uh. Oh. Okay. We drew a taste of Master Sashiro. Let's put the 1-1 one, one counter on the Hand of Enlightenment. And then we stay back. 
We can't attack because of the branch of Boseju. There's another forest. The Boseju grows even more. Reconfigures the Leech Gauntlet onto Boseju. Okay. And we will exploit. That's it then. I think we we lose through this. The unblockable ability is pretty awesome. We drew an heir of the ancient fangs. Which we can play and then that's the game. So, um, sadly we didn't make it this far this time, uh, we gone all 33. I still think that the deck has been pretty awesome, uh, especially uh, game 2 where we spiraled out of control so hard at the beginning of, of the game that we nearly uh, won on turn, what was it, 5? 6? The opponent could not have started to to destroy everything on our field. And nonetheless, we could stabilize and win this round. Um, then the last round, the Todd Rider is pretty awesome, I have to say. And um, Bosejo reaches Skywall is also awesome in in the draft. Never, never expected that. Okay, but that's it for this seal round. I hope you had as much fun as I had. And tell me in the comments if you have anything to say about how um, we we played. How um, if if I punted, if I, you know, made any mistake that costed me the the game. And for now. We will roll the end card.